want to go from this to this, I'm going to show you how to do it in Canva. You're going to love all these features and they're so easy to use. I used to spend hours getting my photos just right to enter quilts into competitions. Now I can just do it with a few quick keystrokes in Canva. Here's a quilt just hanging in my living room. I normally do this in my studio with two lights, but I've just done it with one light today for a demonstration. But put them at an angle so that you can pick up the nice detail of your quilting. Here's the Canva home screen. And I'm just selecting edit photo today and uploading a photo from my computer. And now click on edit photo and it's going to appear all ready for editing. Now I want to get rid of that horrible background of the wall with the shadows and everything. So I click on the image and then edit image and I get some more options, including the last ones I've used. There are some simple adjustments in brightness, contrast and saturation, which you can change by moving the slider or just changing the number in the little box. And there's a whole range of things that you can play around with to your heart's content. Now most of these functions are free, but the one I'm going to use, the background remover, is a Canva Pro feature. You can tell all the Canva Pro features by this little crown. There's a 30 day free Canva Pro trial listed in the description box below, so give it a try. There are other apps available, some free, some cost money, that will remove background. But I love that they're all in the one place here in Canva. So here with the click of a button, our background has been removed. Now I want to add a drop shadow to this image. So I click on the shadows box and I have a lot of different options. I like the drop shadow. And you can easily adjust the size to fit whatever size you want. Now let's give it a label. Click on the T for text in the sidebar. I'm just clicking on my simple heading, but there are literally thousands of different texts. You can move it around, you can change the size. Fix spelling mistakes. it around wherever you want on the page. You can play around with different ideas for fonts. There are just so many. Extra effects for your text. Shadows, hollow text. You can even curve your text if you want. Now I'm just going to add a little graphic behind the title, just to make it stand out. There are so many options here. Just click on this Elements tab at the side. I want a paintbrush stroke, so I'm just going to type that in the search bar and see what I get. Most of these are free. There are some which have the little crown indicating that they are Canva Pro elements. I like this little free one. And you can tell by the little black square up the top that I can change the colour on this one. I'm moving it down to cover my title and I'm going to stretch it a little bit. And to change the colour, click on the little black box. It'll indicate a range of colours that you can use. And if you click on this little pen, you'll get a colour picker, which is so useful. I use it all the time make our font white I think. You can change the name of the file at the top here. It just picked up the words Gowdy's window but I'm just going to add a little bit more. I think it's finished now so now I'm going to download the file. Click on share then download. You can see there are lots of other options as well 
and I'm going to download it as a PNG. But again, there are lots of options, including videos. It'll tell you its progress and ask you where you want to save it to. And here's my finished file. Looks quite good, doesn't it? Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.